What we're doing now is, is I, we've took the traps out of the box. What they got on them is they come this way because of, uh, so they don't rust in the box and be all rusted up. They got a little bit of grease on them. If you take your hand, you, you know, it's best to wear like gloves if you want to get the grease on you. But it even has a smell to it. And what we're trying to do is get that grease off. So we, we, our next step after this is to dye them and wax them. But we want to get that grease off. So what I got is I got clean buckets, okay? I'm going to take all the traps. And we did, these ones got the grease. We haven't done anything else to them. We've done the modifications, you know, for the, uh, to put the bolts in, in the pans. But we're just putting them all right in the bucket, like so. Then what I got is, what works good to take the grease off. There's different ways you can do it. You can put them in your wife's dishwasher. Uh, if you are the wife, you can put them in the dishwasher. But, uh, you know, you can boil them. And there's different ways to take them off. This is the way that I prefer, find it's the best. Also, if you ever get your traps, like, you know, where you didn't get on them in the spring, and they get rusted up, you can do the same process, and it'll take, take them, you know, right back to, a lot of times, to the bare metal to get the rust off. So it's a, it's a double process. But for this, we're just getting the, the grease off. Like, you can see the grease on my hand. You know, we want that off. This is a gallon of distilled white vinegar. I guess this is childproof, and since I have the mentality of a child, I've been told sometimes. Uh, well, see, I guess I got in there. But I'm just going to take that white vinegar. I'm going to pour a gallon of white vinegar in there. You can use a five. This mixture for this is a, like a three-gallon bucket. I generally use this mixture in a five-gallon bucket, so you know you're good to go. But. Okay, got all that in there. So, and you see they're just in there with the white vinegar at this point. What I got is, is the fresh well water, and I'm just gonna take this fresh well water. So I got the traps, they're out, just out of the box. I got the gallon of white vinegar, okay? And then for, now we got the fresh white, fresh well water. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it over the top of them traps plus a little bit more, I'll fill up the bucket. And uh, that's all there is to it. Now we just wait, generally we'll wait, like tomorrow, all the grease will be out and I'll show you the telltale signs. Uh, there'll be a ring of, uh, you know, a little bit of grease around the top here. And uh, then we'll know it's ready to go. Usually it takes about, you know, about 24 hours I leave them. Like this time, you know, tomorrow I'll come out and check it. and. Uh, if I got that, that, some of that grease, you know, on the edge of the bucket there, then I'll know they're ready. And you'll see there, there's bubbles and stuff coming up, you know, where that vinegar is working on that, on that uh, grease and getting that grease off in the metal. And uh, this is a safe process. Um, when you get all done, we can, some guys will take and put baking soda in there. I don't, because I'm just taking them right to boil them and stuff uh, in the dye. So I'm not worried about that. It's going to come off anyways. But you can, if, you want, if you're not going to, uh, you know, do it right away, what you'll do is, is uh, you know, neutralize that. But um, what I, because what I'm doing is when I'm dying them, I'm going to go and well, I'll dump this bucket out like I'll show you tomorrow. And then we're going to let them get a light coating of rust so they'll, you know, take that dye a little bit better. And uh, we'll go through all that process tomorrow. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. All right, so these been sitting here, I don't know, about 18 hours, something like that, in the vinegar. And uh, there's definitely a grease ring around the edge. You can see it on the you know, tip of my finger. So what we're going to do is just uh, dump that water off. And just, I'm going to just dump the traps out. They could have just a little bit of grease left on them. There won't be much. You know, most of it's taken off in, uh, you know, on the side of the bucket. I'm just going to take fresh water, kind of douse them down. And, uh, like, at this point, they kind of wash it off. I'm going to leave these here uh, over the next day. I'm going to watch them. And, uh, you know, when they, I want them to start getting a light, just a light 
covering a rust because that's what you want it'll take to die a lot of times the first season when like in new traps um they don't take the dye real good. A lot of times you'll just wax them. Um, we're gonna, you know, dye these up and uh, wax these ones. But if they don't take the dye real good, don't the first year, the second year when they get more rusty and more use on them, they'll take the dye even better. Um, so, like I said, I'm just gonna let these sit here, let them rust up a little bit, get a light surface rust on them, and uh, then you know we'll dye and wax them.